this is my skincare routine. I'm going somewhere tonight and I want my skin to look good and my makeup and be hydrated and protected. But also it's just that time of the week to do some skincare. Now I picked up, <clears throat> sorry, I picked up some items about a week and a half ago, maybe two weeks ago. Um, that's like my holy grail right now. And I, I'm about to show y'all. About to show y'all. Hold on. These right here. This has been my holy grail. And I love it. So I just brushed my teeth. So first I'm going to start off with this. Um, what is this? This lip plumping mask right here. It's not focusing, but anyways, this is a lip plumping mask from Ulta. It's by Heartbreaker. I use this off and on, so I don't know the complete effectiveness of this. So, I don't know, but I still put it on when I'm about to do some skincare. And it says to leave it on for like uh, five minutes. It has a minty smell doesn't really have a taste and I just lather that on it has um, sparkles and stuff in it so that's what you see on my lips so I'm gonna let that sit while I do some other things first things first you want to always make sure that your hands are clean so wash your hands with soap and water and make sure they're clean this is my first step and don't fight me because I know how you guys like to tussle. So I always go in with some sea breeze first and clean my face off. And I know some people are like, oh, which hazel sea breeze is on your face? But guess what? I'm the one to get the compliments on my skin, so I'm gonna I'm use it. Every time, every time. But I just take it on a cotton pad like this and I just wipe it all over my face because I know I just know it's gonna be some dirt on my face that I didn't get. And that was, that's the point of using this. And you always wanna get your neck. We're gonna cleanse our face. And we're gonna use our CeraVe Hydrating um, Cream to Foam Cleanser. Now this never really foamed up for me, but you know, whatever. So now I'm gonna go in with that CeraVe cleanser and what you wanna do first is saturate your face with warm water. And by the way, my lips are tingling right now. All right, now that I've done that, I'm gonna go in with my cleansing brush, spinny brush, whatever you wanna call it. And I'm put it on, I got this from Walmart, so it's no special brush, but I'm gonna put it on high and I wet it and I'm just going and rub in the cleanser. Oh, now I'm just taking a damp towel I'm just wiping this off my face. And in the process, I'm wiping off their lip mask too. I have this lip scrub. It's by Tree Hut. It's at Alta. I'm just gonna go in to exfoliate my lips and get rid of any remaining um, lip mask. Okay, so I just went through and rinsed that off and now I'm just gonna put this on my lips to keep them moisturized and hydrated and looking good. The next step is toner and I've been using the um, this toner by Good Molecules. It's great for hyperpigmentation, which I have a lot of, if you can see why my mouth is darker, plus I got like patches like this and like my face has like a natural contour on both sides. My sister has the same thing, so I guess it's some genetic, who knows? But I'm just gonna put my toner on this cotton pad and then wipe my face. All 
right, so we're gonna let that dry in for a little bit before we move on to our next step, which will be serum. While it's drying, I'm gonna just talk about the serum that I'm gonna use. So the serum I'm gonna use, also good molecules, and it is a discoloration serum which we just talked about. I have some hyperpigmentation that I would love to get rid of. Rid of. And um, like I said, whenever I kept searching stuff for hyperpigmentation, this kept coming up and it was it had very great reviews and I immediately bought it. And so far I've been liking it. I did notice a little bit of brightness around my mouth and I've only been using it for like a week and a half, I said. So, cause you can use, you can use the serum and you can use the toner daily. Um, with the serum, it has the dropper and I love that. It just makes it so much easier. And you don't have to put it on a cotton bag. You don't have to do that with the toner either, either but that just seemed easier for me to make sure I get all that product in. And this is what it looks like. It's like a milky color. We're also gonna do the same thing that we do with the toner, just let that dry in, absorb into our skin for a second. And just look at my skin already. She glowing, like, come on. Next, we're gonna go in with our spot treatment, which is by Topicals, and it is the Faded Cream. I just got a small size of this because I wanted to test it out. I wasn't sure how well it would work for me, and I won't waste my money because it is a little on the pricey side for me. And I didn't want to waste money on something that didn't really work. Um, I also use these for dark marks, such as this one that will not go away. Well, it's fading, I will say. It is definitely fading, because that's what I've been using on this. Um, but it was much more pronounced. And if I can find a picture, I'll try to insert it. But it was more pronounced than right here. But these patches right here, I just use these on days when I'm like lounging around the house, I'm not really doing nothing or whatever. So, you know I had to try it because it's a black owned business, so, duh. So we just gonna, I rub it on here, put a little dab on there, then I'm getting something right there, so I just put it right there. And then I put it on those areas where I want it to lighten up. And it has like a stinky smell. It smells like, it smells like Nair to me. I don't know if y'all know how Nair smell, but it smells like Nair. Or like, um, my girlies, they used to get perms. It smells like a perm. Not the same exactly, but that's what it smells like to me. Our next step is going to be to moisturize and I'm going to use my Tatcha um, Dewy Skin Cream because like my skin is just normally dry. So I'm gonna use this Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream to help with that. And I got the um, tester size again because I've never used this before and I want to make sure it works. So it's supposed to be like plumping as well. And I kind of like it so far. It has like a clean smell to it. I don't know how to describe it, but it's like this clean smell that it has. And then I would, I would usually go in with um, my eye mask before this step, but I don't really feel like that today. Cause I'm kind of on a time, not on a time crunch, but I just don't really feel like it. But I use these little eye masks that just go into my eyes. Cause you can see I got some darkness and some bags. That's what nursing school do to you. And so, um, yeah, we're gonna skip that step today. Just don't really feel like it. Next, we're going in with our facial oil by The Ordinary. And when I was looking up good facial oils, this was the one that kept popping up. And it was very inexpensive. So I was like, okay, let me go and pick her up. Cause I got mostly everything I got, I got it from Ulta, except for the faded cream and my Tatcha moisturizer. Tatcha and faded came from Sephora, but um, this and Gamalcules Ulta. 
along with the lip stuff that I use. Gonna go in with the little bit of this. I'm about to look like a little, I'm gonna look like a little grease ball, but that's okay. We are hydrated and healthy skin grease ball. Next, I have this pink jaded face roller. It vibrates. I got it from Amazon. And I just like to go under my eye with this, this specific tool and just press any product in. And it feels so good. Well, now we're gonna switch um, faces or heads, whatever. And we're gonna use this one. Just turn it on. And then we're just gonna roll our skin. My other tool I'm going in with is my Gua Sha. My gua sha is by Mount Lai, Mount Lay, um, which is an, an Asian owned company. But I bought this from Sephora. They have their own store website where you can purchase this, but I just got it from Sephora because I was getting some other things. And I haven't been used, I bought this like a year ago. I don't know if y'all remember the gua sha trend or whatever on TikTok. Yes, I'll be on TikTok. And so, I haven't really been using it, but I did use it for a little bit. And um, there's tutorials on their web, the company's website that show you like how to use it the correct way, when, all that stuff like that. But I'm just about to, I'm about to apply this based off of memory because I 100% don't remember the full way to use it, but yeah. And this along with the um, jaded face roller, it helps with um, circulation in your face, you know, wakes it up, you know. Best part of waking up, is in your cup. And then the last, last, last step of this process, it's gonna be our sunscreen. And the sunscreen I use is the Black Girl Sunscreen and it's an SPF 30. Take a little bit, not too much. And honestly, I just added this to my skin. Well, all of this really, I just added to my skincare routine because I used to do um, sea breeze um, cleanser. And then I just put some rose water spray on my face and put on some moisturizer and that was it. And it's like, it's an okay routine, but it needs more. It, need, it needed a lot more. But like I said, I always got compliments on my skin and stuff like that. So I was just like, whatever. But now I realize that there's definitely more things that need to be done to protect, hydrate, and keep your skin looking good, okay? Even though it already does, or already did, we just wanted to look it even better. I realized that the sunscreen will protect from further like discoloration and the darkening around my mouth. Even though I was born like this, literally, it was like this when I was born, it wasn't over time and then like that. I still don't want it to get any darker if I can prevent it. And I don't want this, things like this, to get um, any darker as well. Which I always get these little bumps here. And they're not really bumps, they're just like dark spots. Then after that, they go away. And that just started maybe in the last three or four years that I started getting those, because I never had that problem. Because I never had acne problems or anything like that. Okay, and that concludes my skincare routine. It took me 30 minutes. For me, to me, that's quick and easy. So I would say this is my quick and easy skincare guide or routine to keep my skin looking, you know, flawless, looking 
at looking good. And so um, if y'all have any further questions or y'all wanna see anything else, or you wanna try out another product, just let me know. I think it look great. Oh, that was another thing I wanted to say. I think from using the toner to even out my skin, that has brought this skin tone down to here and making it more even. Cause if you notice, there's like a separation where this is lighter and then this is darker. So I will say that I noticed that the toner has been doing that as well. If you don't want to look as greasy or oily or whatever as me, you don't have to put on much oil. You can just put on literally just a little bit. But for me, I like this because it just makes me look extra hydrated. And I am extra hydrated, but I just like that. And when I put on my makeup, it's going to look good on my makeup. But thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and tune in for the next video.